I'm going to, guys, I'm going to go ahead and guess this is probably what the early 2000s based off of this high octane music. <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't miss this music, bro. David Fincher. Okay, so this is going to be good. Yes. Mayhem wrapped the foundation columns of a Project dozen buildings Mayhem. with blasting gelatin. I know this because Tyler knows this. Do I, I know I know this because Tyler knows this. People are always asking me, do I know Tyler Durden? What he just said here. I know this because Tyler knows this. Project Mayhem. Marla Singer. Bob. Okay. We're still men. That's definitely meatloaf. We're still men. This was a support group for men with testicular cancer. Remaining men together. The big the way you'd think of gods is big. Okay. You cry now. <laughs> what is that? What is this, guys? For six months, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't right. sleep. Right. I couldn't sleep. Uh, we have some solid product placement. Yeah, nothing's real. Everything's far away. Everything's, Everything's drinking a coffee. Copy of a copy. Okay, so he has insomnia. He seems to be like hallucinating, most likely. Um, there's something that's popping up on the screen. That's it's like it may just be like two frames out of twenty four. So it's extremely fast, guys. Um, okay, and there's a lot of Starbucks coffee. Everyone's drinking coffee. All right, let's go. Let's. Here's your flight coupons. Call me from the road if there's any snags. He was full of pep. Must have had more his grande latte enema. Grande latte enema. Guys, what is guys? What is this movie? All right, grande latte enema. He then the scene switches to him basically sitting on the toilet here. Um, there was more product placement. He was sitting at, at the desk um, next to his uh, next to more Starbucks coffee. There's a trend. Okay, guys, so he, he's bored. He's bored. He has nothing else to do with his life. He has insomnia. Um, apparently, he has some type of, like, testicular cancer. Uh, he's going to meetings for this. Uh, he's confused uh, if, by removing his testicles, will he uh, still be a man? Uh, yeah, you'll still be a man, bro. You, you're still a man. So that's how that works. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. All right, let's let's get it. He's worried about ordering a, a yin and yang thing. Yin, yin, yin and yang is basically just what the duality is for the most part. But let's go. No, you need healthy, natural sleep. Choose some Valerian. This guy's like begging for like Xanax. In route and get more exercise. The exercise probably would would make him sleepy. Uh, it probably would. Swing by First Methodist Tuesday nights. See the guys with testicular cancer. That's pain. Okay, so, okay, so definitely that thing happened again. Um, like a like a, a very quick uh, flash on the screen of someone standing behind the doctor here. Um, so maybe he doesn't have testicular cancer. He just has insomnia. Uh, the doctor is basically just saying, "Hey, listen, go ahead and do this. You're complaining. You're you're complaining." Right. So go see the people that actually have something to complain about. Okay, so he doesn't have testicular cancer. Okay, he he just has insomnia. And thank God, you know, I'm I'm glad for her. No, you're not. <laughs> Everyone, let's thank Thomas for sharing himself with us. Thank, thank you, Thomas. You, Thomas. I look around oh. this room and I see a lot of courage, and that gives me strength. We give okay. each other strength. I've never been to one of these groups, but they, they've always like made me feel uncomfortable like watching them. Like watching scenes about these things is, I don't know. I don't know why you give your business to other people. I just don't personally understand. I, I don't understand, guys. Um, I'm sure this has the ability to like help people. Absolutely. But I just would never in my life do this, right? Under any circumstance. I, I can't think of one circumstance that I would ever sit in, in a circle and tell my business to people like that. Like that, very specifically. Like my deep, deep business. No chance. It's time for the we open ourselves up. Again, 
guys, um, that weird thing happened again. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's like a flash of a person, right? It's following him. Is it like a ghost? <laughs> is it a phantom? <laughs> what is it? His eyes already shrink wrap. Bro, those are like, bro, those are like double Fs or something, bro. Congratulations. I have it all. And Mr. All. Bro, get off of me. Oh, they use that on phrase horses for Christ's sake. You're talking very close to my ear. And now I'm, you can cry. Why? What's the reason for it, though? If you don't get out that man's bosom. Babies don't sleep this well. Oh, well, listen. At the very least, he fell asleep. This man is a menace. Step forward into your cave. Okay. That's right. You're going deeper into your cave. Guys, I think he's crazy. And you're going to find your power animal. Your power animal is a penguin? Slide. I just something like who does this? Like who thinks, you know what, I can't sleep. So you know what helps me sleep is to act like I have some type of terminal illness uh, exclusively to help myself sleep. Just to show that my life, you know what, it, it isn't that bad compared to other people. This is a pitiful, sad man, guys, all right? And why are we following him? Okay, so she's just like you. But why is she here for testicular cancer, though? I mean, you know what? Listen, never mind. I hadn't slept in four days. When you have insomnia, you're never really asleep. And you're never really awake. I mean, I would think it would probably help if you're really that sleepy not to allow any of like the, the blue light uh, or any light that's higher or lower, depending on how you're running it, right? But um, any any light that's, let's say lower, I uh, know, yeah, let's say yeah, lower, lower. Any light that's lower than 5,500 Kelvin, right? Now, your TV is going to kind of produce that, right? I mean, because that kind of represents daylight to your brain. So maybe, just maybe, only watch warmly lit sources. Like nowadays, we have the ability on our phones to switch to like nighttime mode, which ups the overall Kelvin to like 6,700, uh, which is so warm that it really doesn't affect uh, anything. It doesn't, it doesn't produce any like clean blue daylight. Right? Um, just a thought, maybe you shouldn't be watching TV, bro. To be feel the healing energy of this place all around you. Like, he makes me uncomfortable, to be honest. I would hate for him to, like, exist in reality. I'm just gonna be honest here. I don't, like, everything about him makes me feel weird. The movie itself kind of makes me feel weird with the overall placement of the scoring, um, how it's being filmed in like certain spots. It's just, it's almost jarring to encounter. Um, but let's continue. Testicular cancer. I saw you practicing this. Practicing what? Telling me off. Is it going as well as you hoped? Rupert. I'll expose Rupert. you. Go ahead. I'll expose you. Right. Guys, I just realized we haven't learned his name. Why haven't they said the main character's name? I thought it was Cornelius. And now it's Rupert. I don't know. Let's get it. Let yourselves cry. And why is she always smoking in like cancer areas? No, look. This is important. Why are you doing this? Free coffee. More coffee references. And so if he had okay, so the main character has insomnia. Um, we haven't seen him drink any coffee at all, but everyone else around him is constantly consuming coffee. Coffee keeps you up. Um, what's the correlation? Okay, hmm. 
So I'm also guessing this person most likely has to end up a love interest um, with how much she's on the screen with him. What do you say? Favorite too? Try to slip it by me, eh? Look, wait, okay, what just happened here? The girl had done her homework. I mean, I guess she's as obsessed with doing this as you are. For her to know every single thing you know, I guess that's the case here. Um, but she's obviously in your head, bro. I mean, um, think about it for a second, guys. She's in your safe space. So you're thinking about her so much that she's literally just constantly on the front of your brain by the looks of it and sounds of it. No, no, I, I want... Okay, so, okay, wait, 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 bro. What is going on? How far are we into this movie? 20 minutes, and I still have no idea what's happening. All right? Um, I don't think he's a very likable main character so far, guys. I don't think he's extremely likable. Um, he's doing a lot of terrible things. He's in a lot of places where uh, the average person would literally never be in because they wouldn't do these crazy things that he's doing uh, he meets this woman and uh, this woman is somehow doing the same exact thing he's doing at the same exact time as weird and just odd right i did honestly i thought that he could be the only person on the planet that would do such horribleness but apparently there are two people on a planet that would do such horribleness there are multiple scenes where it's this random person pops up out of nowhere and now we just saw the random person pop up again uh behind him right going the other way i don't know what's happening guys I don't, this is driving this movie's driving me crazy bro okay every time the plane banked too sharply on takeoff for landing i prayed for a crash or a mid-air collision why anything <laughs> Yeah, guys, he's he's sick. He's he's just a sick human. Completely. He's not okay. Life insurance pays off triple if you die. To have this thing, everything on a plane is single serving, even the. Oh, I get it. It's very clever. <laughs> Thank you. How's it working out for you? What? What was the name of his company, guys? And this is how I met. Did he show? Tyler Durden. Uh, what's this say? Paper Paper Street Soap Co. Why would it be called Paper Street? Um basically what paper what what a paper street is, um so like on a map, right? Uh you'll see I don't know, like random blocks in, like in cities, for example. Um, that's basically Paper Street, where it's just a street on paper. It's fake. It doesn't exist. It's not real. But that's real. It's soap. I see the soap. <laughs> Let's go forward, guys. By far, the most interesting single service. Paper Street Soap Co. To have this thing, everything on a plane is used to be your furniture and personal effects blows out of your floor to ceiling windows and sails flaming into the night. What that was yours? That is I the suppose these things happen. Bro, you were having a, a crazy unlucky day, bro. Like how yours was the only one. Yep, there's there goes that yin and yang table. Uh Table of duality. Hmm. Paper Street Soap Co. Tyler Durden. Bradford. Bradford. Is that, uh, is that Pennsylvania, I guess? Bradford? I don't know. And again, guys, Paper Street is not real. 288-555 is not real. But I understand this is a movie, so all movies at this time, I think, had 555. But again, 
This whole thing is fake, guys. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest here. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, like, I know it's real. I see it, right? Paper Street Soap Co. Two angels looking at each other. More duality. Like, like they're twins. They're the same thing. Paper Street. I don't know. Let's go. Hmm. No. Either the continuity is terrible. Wait a second. Bro, right here says no incoming calls allowed. Who's calling? Who's who's calling? Who's calling, bro? I like are you are you messing with me, guys? This is gonna be a long one. I can forecast it, guys. I apologize. Um I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get through this movie, guys. Either the continuity is absolutely terrible or they just they're just messing with me mentally. Right? I think, they're, I think they're messing with everyone who watches this movie. I think so. I say, look, let's evolve. Let the chips okay. fall where they may. I wouldn't call that. E I wouldn't call that evolution. I would call that like it says that would be devolving slightly, right? I mean, um, I get it. We can make all these. You know, this, this commentary about uh, current Western society, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of things you can make commentary about. Um, what happened to us, right? I mean, we once were this. We once were this, and now we are consumers. I get it, bro. Let's get it. That's me. <laughs> it's not okay. Jail jail what's funny is is that um they're kind of referencing the splicing of of like random scenes obviously kind of like the first half of the movie right uh where we just kept seeing this guy somehow he had like a premonition or something and knew that this guy existed because everywhere he looked for some reason he seemed to see this guy that we're already seeing right now this right um okay I've been in a fight. I don't want to die without any scars. So come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. Oh, okay. God. This is crazy. This will go crazy. I, I don't want to die without having any scars. Bro, scars are overrated. I have two major scars, okay? They are overrated and they were traumatic events, okay? One here and one mm, here. Somewhere here. I can't. I think it's here, here and here. A tooth went through my skin, literally. I bit through my bottom lip. And this is from a brick, okay? Like the, the side of a brick, okay? And I was like, super excited to see my mother coming back from vacation. I was running and running and running and I tripped over a stick. I went blind in one of my eyes. Um, and yeah, that was a fun experience. Right at the time, I'm not blind anymore. He's kind of toxic, guys. He is. What was that? By the ear, man. <laughs> I fucked it up. No, oh, that was. Why, though? Guys, guys, guys. Uh, listen. Um, this is this isn't happening. I don't know. I don't know how to. Ex explain how I don't trust anything on what I'm seeing. Um, everyone knows, I think, at least, right? Paper Street is fake, guys. It's fake. It's not real. What am I watching? <laughs> I see a house on Paper Street. I don't know what that even means. Um, you know, there are like... Uh, there are ways in terms of like real estate 
ways, right? Um, to turn a paper street into a kind of a paper deed, right? A lot of the times paper streets are done for like brand new subdivisions and things like that, guys. But you'll never actually see paper street printed on a sign, okay? Um, so I don't know why this house is on paper street. It's a it's it's really hard to watch this movie because <laughs> because like all of the clues say that what I'm watching is fake and I can't explain it because we're seeing it right so how do we qual how how do we do this how do we come up with reasoning for why these things are existing I have no idea what I'm watching and it's stressful slightly what is real and what is not real. Paper Street is not real, guys. This is not real. It's just not real. Stairs were ready to collapse. I didn't know if he owned it or if he was squatting. Neither would have surprised me. Bro, how could a house like this have power being ran to it? Look, I don't know why the power company would allow this to exist because how are you breathing in this house with all this paint chipping off the walls was there was there even any type of insulation in this house was it asbestos was it lead paint i don't you know what let's go i'm sorry it's you it's <laughs> let's me. not obsess over the, over the small things Good? yeah thanks that what mattress shit, has bro. hepatitis Really quickly, guys, this is weird. All right, so Tyler says, hey, guys, they acknowledge him saying it, but all three of the guys are only looking at this guy we still have no real name for. Can I be next? And this is happening in public, right? No cops on like private property on, on a business property where the business can be sued for this happening on it and the cops aren't being called to stop it everything wouldn't swell then listen listen to the words he's saying rain trickled down through the plaster and the light fixtures i'm telling you not a single electrician would allow the electricity to be turned on in this house bro all right okay frank what? You could deal with anything. Did you finish those reports? Krispy Kreme placement. If you could fight anyone, who would you fight? Fight my boss, probably. Really? Franchises. Everything is so dirty. College. So it's real important that I... I'm a 30-year-old boy. Or a generation of men... Yeah, that's by your choice, bro. Raised by women. Generation of men raised by women. Oh, here we go. Get married. Uh, How about next week? How about next month? Sometimes Tyler spoke for me. I fell down some stairs. I fell down some stairs. Fight Club became the reason to cut your... Sometimes Tyler spoke for me. He fell down some stairs. I fell down some stairs. Okay. Hair short or trim your fingernails. You won't believe this dream I had last night. Yeah, I can hardly believe anything about last night. What? What happened? <laughs> what, what you How does everyone seem so comfortable? Walking around in this, in this disgusting house, bro. How? 
it's okay. It's normal. It's just completely normal, apparently, right? To walk into a place that looks like this and just, you know, just grab a cup. You didn't wash it. Imagine how dirty that cup is, bro. Then you put some type of liquid. It's dark. I'm guessing, you know, water from the pipes into your mouth. Gargle with that nasty pipe water, right? And then, uh, you know, spit it out into the sink. Bro, I don't understand people like this. I don't. I don't know how this works. Okay? <laughs> I wish I did. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. It is filthy inside this house, bro. What are you doing here? You got hair fast. Did I call you? Huh? Is she like a lady of the night or something? Is, why doesn't, how do you, what, wait, what's happening here? Either she was expecting someone or there were like, I, I can't even wrap my head around what's happening right now, bro. Um, I, she may be like a lady of the night, guys. I'm guessing. She, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Some random guy comes to the door and she says, you got here fast? You got here fast. How, how do you know him? Like, did he actually say anything on the phone? Because it it seemed like he just heard what was happening, then put the phone down. How did he know where her, where her room was? You got here fast. Was she, were you expecting him? Do you know who he is? I'm so confused, guys. I could have moved to another room. I think we have a... Uh, uh, some slight correlation here, guys. Um, you see him reading. He's working out. He's, for the most part, uh, kind of practicing some, some type of self-improvement. Self-improvement is self-pleasure. Okay, he's improving himself while Tyler is pleasuring himself. Self-improvement is self-pleasure. I don't know. On the third floor, where I might not have heard them. Feels like a correlation, though. Feels like this could this could uh, align. But I didn't. You give up the condo life, give up all your flaming worldly possessions, go live in a dilapidated house in a toxic waste part of town, and you have to come home to this. Mm. And, and basically, so Tyler basically said to uh, to him that this is like how to evolve, right? Bro, this is devolving. You went from a condo to this current state you're in right now, bro. House with lead paint, everything's falling apart. There's mold everywhere by the looks of it on the ceiling. Uh, there's probably roof damage. You're literally living in, in squalor um, and... You had a cushy office job, probably making the median income of whatever year this was, or you were comfortable, right? And you still are making that median income because you're still working that job. So what exactly does this life that you're deciding to live currently mean? It means nothing, bro. You just added violence to it. That's it. You just added violence. But let's continue. This homemade dynamite could have blown out your pilot light days before the actual explosion. Gas days before? Who would go and do Okay, so, could, so days before. So it definitely could not be Tyler because you didn't know Tyler, other than the fact that you kept seeing Tyler. Okay, okay, wait, bro, hold on. What is happening here? What is this, guys? <laughs> this is a hard one. The salt balance has to be just right, so the best fat for making soap comes from humans. Oh, what? Wait, what is this place? Infectious waste. I'm infect. She's infectious human waste, is what she said, right? Marla? Is her name Marla? <laughs> Wait a second, I just. Wait, hold on. The woman. Let's call her, let's call her the woman. Um. Okay, so she, she calls herself infectious human waste. They are now getting 
infectious human waste for soap. And it's right here. I'm going to my cave. I'm going to my cave. I'm going to find my power animal. No! <laughs> Don't deal with it the way those dead people do. Come on! I get the point, okay? No, please. but your feeling is premature and light. No. Why is so? Wait, is it is she the penguin that's in his cave, <laughs> or is uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is great commentary on on like fathers who abandon their their kids. Guys, this is great commentary completely. I'm not referring to like fathers who were pushed out of the lives of their kids. I'm referring to just people who blatantly just knowingly abandon their children. Um, there's a big difference here. Right? You, have, you have one that's just inflicted by another human being that's, that has way too much power. Right. Um, and another one is just you walking away from your kids because I don't feel like I'm adult enough, bro. You should have known that when you inserted yourself into that young lady. Right? But all right, listen, let's get it. There's great commentary on that, though. Congratulations. You're one step closer to hitting bottom. Tyler sold his soap to department stores at $20. Guys, he's always wearing no underwear. And that's, again, he, he kind of pointed that out on the bus. Um, that he, he doesn't really respect the concept of wearing underwear. It's conformity. Why this this movie this is an extremely nihilistic movie. Um, it screams Nietzsche, guys. It screams it. But let's 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 go. It was beautiful. We were selling rich women their own fat ass back to them. <laughs> he was wearing his yellow tie. I didn't even wear a tie. The first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Pretend you're me. Make a managerial decision. You find this, what would you do? I'd be very, very careful who you talk to about that because the person who wrote that is dangerous. You're fired. You're fired. <sighs> You're fired. Get out. Get out right now. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. See you around. She, like, constantly tries to do everything within her power to emasculate him. Everything. Every single thing. First rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. And the second rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Guys, if every single person that's entering into this, like for example, was were to follow the rules actually, then this organization would have no people. So everyone is talking about it, even though they're saying not to talk about it, guys. <laughs> I can't talk about this, but let's grow our numbers, bro, come on. Hey, hey, I thought you couldn't wear a shirt. I'm guessing he's wearing the shirt himself because if they were not, if they would have to do a lot of CGI because obviously Meatloaf right here is wearing some type of suit, right? Um, and so this is the reason why he's obviously you know, in a shirt, I guess. <laughs> Shut up. Which means a lot of you have been breaking the first two rules of Fight Club. Basically. I mean, it was pretty obvious when Bob came walking up to, uh, what is that? Let's call him Cornelius, guys. When Bob came walking up to Cornelius, all right? And, you know, how would Bob find out? That means it's everywhere. If Bob found out, it's everywhere. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes. Working okay. jobs we hate so we can buy we don't need. Our Great Depression. It's our lives. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. But we won't. Jared Leto? We're slowly learning that fact. Play the lie! Fucking use the basement! Try! I want your work, Lou! You I want your work! I'm my mother's own. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Right. <laughs> well, they got the basement. Um, the, the, the means they got it by are wild, but you know, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. Oh, please, please, the boss. Please, the boss. <laughs> Do it again. Complete psychotic. Completely psychotic. Is that your mom and dad? Mom and dad are gonna have to call up kind of Dr. So and so. Pick up your dental records. Right. Want to know why? Because there's gonna be nothing left to face. Now, how, how is this benefiting anyone, bro? Like you, I think you started out as. Uh, let's bring. I don't know. Let's make people more. Let's make men more masculine, in a way, right? But your idea of what masculinity is is absolutely terrifying, bro. I mean, if that's masculinity, I'm very confused. I mean, this is <laughs> this is savagery. You, you're barbarian in the sense, guys, right? Um, but you know, listen. But how does this tie into anything? Human sacrifice, bro. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Run on home. Run, Force, run! Okay, now, hear me out. Hear me out. He just changed that man's life trajectory. He did. Completely. He's going to do that. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> he's going to. I'm telling you, I promise you, he's going to do it. He's going to be great at it. He's going to look back at that moment and be like... This was absolutely terrifying. But look where I am now compared to what I would have been. But the point is here is that how you just did that is trash, bro. Uh, does it work? Will it work? 100% it's going to work. That, that's going to work 100, 1,000% that's going to work. Um, but you kind of mess with the concept of free will, right? I mean, he could have done that on his own. If he didn't, that means he just didn't have the willpower to, um, you know, you know, kind of stay in that very specific realm of existence. He couldn't. Um, but now he's going to be forced to, and then he's going to succeed. Absolutely. But, but how you did it, that's the problem, bro. I feel ill. No. What? That day you came over to my place to play doctor. What was going on there? What are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. The day you came over to my place to play doctor, he never did. That was Tyler. I want to talk about this. This conversation. This conversation. Is over. Is over. I just can't win with you, can I? Are you like a puppet, bro? Why, why do you listen to every single thing Tyler says? I mean... Yeah, kind of, but at least they at least they have people to be here and actually clean the house because guys, that's the most appreciated thing so far. Mm. Ah. Hold ya. <laughs> oh, oh my! Oh my! 
Bro. Uh, um. When you go, psycho boy. I felt like destroying something beautiful. I felt like destroying something beautiful. He lost like all of his top teeth, guys. Those are gone. Those don't exist anymore. Don't worry, Mr. Jordan. Look at the road, bro. Slow down, it's raining. Just let go. What? Let What? I mean, obviously, it would make all the sense in the world if he did it, right? Because he's a, a character with, with uh, you know, explosive knowledge, right? But you meet someone random on an airplane, and then you decide to do that to their, their property? The detective said something like, um, the pilot light was, or something like that. Something was turned on, right? I, I would go back, but I don't want to go back because I don't want to go back basically right but um <laughs> something was left on days before so uh, that doesn't make any sense he blew he did he's the cause of the condo exploding but i don't, but did he even know him at that time like how long was him getting off of the airplane and then him having to call him this would have been a span of like what an hour I don't want guys wait. Hold on, bro. Some type of gas was pushed through the uh, the keyhole on the door days before, is what they said. Days before. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what was the purpose? What? Who was driving? Tyler was driving. Tyler was driving. They get into an accident. Tyler crawls out of the passenger seat, goes over and pulls out, let's call him Cornelius. Is this a continuity issue, guys? Oh, or was, is, okay, there are two things that could happen, that could be happening right now, which would make, which would make the movie make a lot more sense, okay? If the main character, Cornelius, was actually, that wouldn't make any sense, who would make it? No one, no one would make a. I don't think anyone would make a movie like that, guys. Um, either the either Cornelius could be Tyler, hence the reason why we don't have a name for him at all. He's he could be actually Tyler. Tyler could not be real. Either that could be something, or the continuity of this movie, this this beautifully filmed movie and structured movie. Right. It could be two things. It could just be the continuity is terrible in a movie that um, I think has been put together pretty well to like remain mysterious, right? Um, or the the reason why we don't have the main character's name is because his name he is Tyler. He's a, he in fact is Tyler, and and that and and um, the character Brad Pitt is playing it doesn't exist. Um, because I don't think that they would mess up that this badly with continuity where where Tyler is now crawling out of the passenger side that runs over and gets Cornelius out of the driver's seat who was driving the whole time, bro. We know it was Tyler. Cornelius was in the passenger seat. Is Cornelius fake? Or is Tyler fake? One of them has to go, guys. Okay, one of them has to go, and I'm leaning 
pretty heavily on Tyler, the guy who we kept seeing in, in like, you know, random random scenes in the beginning of the movie, guys. And then... Tyler? Tyler was gone. He experienced something real for the first time. And Tyler's gone. He leaves. You don't need him anymore, maybe. Mentally. Huh. Paper Street Soap Company. Paper Can Street doesn't exist. Tyler doesn't exist. This is all a figment of his imagination. Paper Street Soap Company, eh? Living on Paper Street, eh? Really? Right. The street doesn't exist. The company doesn't exist. The number that was on there, the 555 number, doesn't exist. Tyler doesn't exist. <laughs> Okay, it was you, bro. You're the crazy, f you're the you're the crazy individual we've been encountering this entire movie, bro. It was you. It was absolutely you. I blame you for everything I see. Right? Okay, bro. <laughs> he's even crazier than I thought. All right. So I'm so I'm guessing he suffers from some type of like DID, maybe, um, or like multiple personality disorder. Guys, I'm guessing that's probably it. He's psychotic completely. Schizophrenic also, probably. He's not here. Tyler went away. Tyler's gone. Tyler said, don't mention Tyler to her. He mentions Tyler to her, saying, Tyler isn't here. Bro, you're standing right there. You're, you're, you're standing right there. Now I understand. I, oh my, bro, this the whole, wait a second. I'm gonna have to rewatch this whole movie, guys. I mean, it may be mandatory for me to watch, to start from the beginning and like pick apart every single thing that I see, guys. I think so, may, maybe. Because he basically literally said, do not mention me to her, All right? Don't do that. Like you're, you're going to be like, listen, by doing that, you're going to prove how crazy you are to her. Tyler isn't here. You're standing right there. Now she thinks you're literally nuts, bro. But all right. Here. And this is why she's like, uh, okay, I'm leaving. She also did say the like the house call, right? You got here fast. Remember when, uh, when Tyler walked into the room? You got here fast. Bro, there are so many clues. There were so many guys. There were so many clues throughout the whole movie. Sir, in, in Project Mayhem, we have no names. No, you listen to me. This is a man, and he has a name. In Project Mayhem, we have no names. He has no name. He's had no name the whole the whole the whole movie. Yet. We, I, I think I now know his name is Tyler. I'm not going to believe you if you say anything other than that. Again, guys, not, forget it. It's, it's That's over with now. I'm calling him Tyler. Um, but all right, let's get it. It's Robert Paulson, okay? Robert Paulson. Robert Paulson? He's a man. His name is Robert Paulson. Come on, guys. His please. name Stop it. is Robert Paulson. This isn't real. Nah, I forget it. Forget this, guys. All of these people are not here. What is happening? I don't. I don't think. I don't believe nothing. I believe nothing that I'm seeing here. I don't think any of these people are real. Forget it. All right. Forget it. These. This is all fake. He's probably standing in a room. Okay. He's. I'm telling you right now. He's standing in a room with, with nothing in it, and all of this. We're, we're watching what's playing out in this psychotic man's head. His name is Robert Paulson. This isn't real. This can't be real. Robert I'm just going to be honest. This is all over His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. But this isn't real. His name is Robert Paulson. Oh. Hold on, guys. Enough of this. We got the proof now. 100% have the proof. Right here. There we go. This is his name. Tyler Durden. That's who he is. Is. That's who he is. 
Um, these are from his the company that he's working for, guys, right? And these are the the tickets that are given to him from his job um, that he's been working for. His name, in fact, is Tyler Durden, guys. All right, what? This is guys. This has been the most like mentally taxing movie I have probably ever seen in my entire life. Thursday. You are standing exactly where you are now, asking how good security is. As tight as a drum, sir. Who do you think I am? Tyler Durden. Are you sure this isn't a test? No, this is not a test. Go ahead, say it. Reveal it. Right. Bro. Right. talk to themselves they see themselves as they'd like to be they don't have the courage you have to just run with it naturally you still rest could you imagine the type what type of like mental state you'd have to be in to see that to see him tyler outside basically fighting himself and then be like listen you know what you know what you're right this looks like an organization i'm gonna join into that's basically what happened, guys. People saw a guy fighting himself and then joined the organization, allegedly. I think the initial kerfuffles were probably real, okay? But this Project Mayhem thing, bro, that's him. That's him doing craziness. All right? With it. Saying this, you are insane. No, you're insane. Yeah, you simply bro. do not have time for this. Excuse me, don't worry about us. Sir. Of course, we're solid. <laughs> In that case, sir, may I advise against the lady eating the clam chowder? No clam chowder, thank you. <laughs> Clean. Crazy. I can't do this anymore. That's a great idea. Leave. Get away from this man. You don't understand. You'll create total chaos. Keep him talking. I need to make. I mean. <laughs> I really admire what you're doing. Oh my. You're a brave man to what it is. Yeah. You're a genius, sir. Right. You said if anyone ever under you'd say that. I'm not Tyler Durden. You told us you'd say that too. <laughs> I am Tyler Durden. <laughs> <laughs> We're aborting this mission right now. Franklin Street. I'm guessing we're coming up to the end. Things are getting real now, bro. So you know. Oh, Tyler! Tyler! <laughs> hey guys, keep in mind, he's doing this to himself. I'm so glad like the CCTV is there to get us to give us like a an actual view of what's happening here. Like there are levels of, of craziness here. How is that even happening? Guys, wait, hold on. How is that even happening? Okay, just keep this in mind. Like it, it's almost like yeah, it's a it's a figment of his imagination, absolutely. But how is he being dragged backwards like someone is dragging him backwards? Do you understand what I'm saying here? He's being lifted off, off, off the ground and being pushed backwards. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like that right there. Like he's literally being pulled, but no one is pulling him. Three minutes. This is it. The beginning. Oh, this is the beginning Round of the movie. Zero. 
I think this is about where we came in. This is what we want. No. I don't want this. Right. Except you. Guys, I'm not sure that you that you would actually be able to like hear the street, people speaking on the street, even loudly, uh, from the floor that they're actually on. It's meaningless now. But for some reason, we can. Please call this off. Have I ever let us down? Kind of. How far have you come because of me? I mean, this is more like revision. I mean, you know. What's that smell? Listen. <laughs> so this movie. <sighs> um, you know where do we start? Guys, I've never seen a movie like this. Um, you know, initially, uh, you know, well, not initially, but a couple of moments ago, I had kind of compared it to uh, True the Truman Show. In terms of its level of just like mind effery, right? And that's what we're encountering. That's just what this is. This is meant to confuse and befuddle you. Um, by the end of it, I'm glad he, you know, kind of slayed his demon, let's say. Right? Um, I'm also not sure that the woman was real. But let's just, you know, who knows, right? Everything from the beginning felt uncomfortable to encounter. Right. We know for a fact that um, fake Tyler wasn't real. He was Tyler the whole time. We know that now. Um, I honestly, throughout this movie, felt like something was messing with me, right? Like something was playing with my intelligence, guys. <laughs> right? And, you know, luckily at the end, we kind of understood it fully. But I think I kind of figured it out maybe before the... Um, I think I figured it out before they actually said anything about it I, I think so at least because um this is a movie that i'm gonna have to go back and watch probably a couple of times just so i can kind of grasp um certain things at least i think that if you i don't know i think what about this here i do think that if you watch this movie once this is probably a, a rewatch a guaranteed rewatch from the beginning slowly right um, pausing as often as possible. I do think that there were a lot of clues. Um, and I think probably the biggest clue was the phone, the phone call, right? He calls the person, the person doesn't pick up. And of course, the person who's who's calling back, the person you just called, they, they have a missed call, right? But the phone itself is like, oh, um, no, you can actually go back further than that. But either way, but the phone was just like, no incoming calls allowed. The Paper Street company thing was probably pretty much a dead giveaway. It doesn't exist. It can't exist at all. It's impossible for Paper Street to exist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you guys. Right? Um, I think that probably should have been the first thing that, that stood out to me as something, but it didn't didn't make any sense because I was in my head, I'm like, how, who would make a movie that would just be purely lying to your face the whole time? And that's what this was, a movie that lied to your face the whole time. Like, did he become more of who he you know, hoped and wished to be at the end? I don't know. Maybe, guys. But was it worth it? You're probably going to go to jail for the rest of your life. Like, just be fully aware. This is what you did. You created an army. Right? Um, all right. Listen, if you guys want to see the full length, very long reaction, uh, it is on Patreon at the second tier. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. And I have to leave right now.